There's no denying our lives are busy. There's the job, the meetings, the traffic. Our family and friends. Bills to pay, hedges to clip and garbage to take out. The stress is real and sometimes a bit overwhelming. We soothe ourselves with distractions like TV, online shopping, social media, and yes, YouTube. It's a strange phenomenon, sitting in our homes staring at screens, and on the human timeline, it's a very recent phenomenon too. Telefunken released the first commercially made TV back in 1934. IBM launched the personal computer in 1981. And Apple's first Mac hit the shelves in 84. Then the internet went live in around 93, and Steve Jobs changed the world with the iPhone in 2007. Thanks to all of this, most people in Western cultures now spend between 23 and 24 hours a day inside, and modern desk-bound employees spend as little as 15 minutes a day outdoors, about half the time it takes to calibrate the human circadian clock. I, I don't care if they lay me off either, because I told, I told Bill that if they move my desk one more time, then, then, I, then I'm quitting. I'm going to quit. And, and I told Dom, too, because they've moved my desk four times already this year, and I used to be over by the window and I could see the squirrels and they were married. And to add insult to stupidity, the air we breathe inside our homes and offices is often two to five times worse than the air outside. Daylight, fresh air and contact with nature are each critical to our physical and mental health because for 400,000 years, that's where we spent most of our time. And our DNA hasn't forgotten that. We need to get back out there. And landscape photography is the perfect excuse. Beyond pulling us from our screen-filled cocoons, landscape photography relaxes the prefrontal cortex, the brain's main engine room, by forcing us to focus on the present and on our immediate environment. In other words, it brings us back to where we belong, close to the elements that heal and sustain us. But it's so much more than that. Studies in Europe, the US, Japan, the UK, and tons of other countries have all concluded very similar things. Just looking at nature reduces stress, anxiety, and fatigue, along with about 15 or so physical and mental diseases. There's a very good reason why patients with a view of nature heal faster than those without. Paracelsus, the 16th century German-Swiss physician, wrote that the art of healing comes from nature, not from the physician. The thing is, when we stroll through nature, instead of rushing past it in our cars, we see more, and we see differently. We feel more too. The sunlight, the temperature on our skin, the scents carried on a breeze, and the physical elements around us. And whether we're hiking to a location or just ambling about, it gets us moving too. I've heard a lot of definitions of success over the years, but the simplest is this. Success is progress. Through our camera, we can build a body of work that accumulates and our skills and artistic abilities also accumulate and they compound. Each experiment builds on the last and each image is the sum total of our evolution up to that moment. It stimulates the left and right brain too, something that's missing in so many jobs and pastimes these days. And when we're not creating images, it gives us something to think about something to research, something to engage with, through things like editing, self-education, 
location scouting, and looking after our gear. It's the perfect rebalancer, and it might just change your life. Grab a camera, get outside, and go make some images.